Hello everyone. So in this video, I'm going to draw the tree diagram for the Monty Hall problem. So as we did in class, and you know, the Monty Hall is the game in which we have three different doors. And behind two of them, we have two goats. And behind one of them, we have a car. So there are doors A, B, C. And how this game works, I'm assuming that you all know, but I'm going to um, explain it again. So you're going to choose a door and you don't know if there is a car behind it or there is a goat. Then the host of the show, Monty, will come and open the other door, uh, one of the other doors that um, there is a going, goat behind that. And then he asks you if you want to switch your own door, the one that you chose before, um, with the one that is remaining. So we want to know if um, it is better to switch or not switch. So probability wise, we have seen that it is better to always switch. So it doesn't mean that you will always win, but the probability of winning will be more, uh, winning the car will be more. So let's draw the tree diagram and demonstrate that with the tree diagram. So I'm gonna define two different colors for the car and the goat. So wherever I have um, red letters, it means that I'm talking about the car behind the door and wherever I have a green letter, it means that I'm talking about the goat. Okay. So let's start from the beginning. So at the beginning of the show, with the probability of one third, the car can be behind door A, B or C, right? Because I have one car and then I have three different doors. So what's happening here is that I'm going to have three branches. So with the probability of one third, the car can be between door A, I mean behind door A, door B or door C. Okay, so this first row is talking about which door the car is behind. Okay, then after that, we will go to the door that you will choose. Okay, so let's see how we can do that. So if the car is behind door A, door B, or door C, it doesn't matter because then with the probability of one third, um, we will choose one of the doors, right? It doesn't matter what it is behind it. With the probability of one third, we're going to choose one of the doors. So for each of these experiments, we're going to have three uh, different choices. So we have one third, one third, and one third. Again, the same over here. And for the last tree we have over here. All right. So when the car was behind door A and we chose one of the three doors, we could choose we could have chosen door A or door B in which we have the goat or door C. Why am I writing B and C in blue? Oh, I meant to draw it with green actually because we were talking about the goats with green, right? So B or C. Then if the car was behind door B, if we chose door A, then it means that the goat was behind door A. If we chose door C, the goat was behind door C. And then if we chose door B, the car was behind door B. And the same thing for the last one. So this is A and B. Again, these green ones are the doors that have the goat behind them. And the red ones are the doors that have the cars behind them. So here I will write that this is the stage that I choose a door. So after this stage, after this actually step, Monty will come in and he will choose, uh, he will open one of the doors that um, has, the go has the goat behind it. So if I want to not switch 
between uh, my own door and the other doors so it doesn't matter if the game even continues or not right so right here i can say that if i don't want to switch what will be the probability that i will win okay so let me write here let me write that if we don't switch and stick to our choice no matter what door Monty opens which door Monty opens we will win the car with a probability of one third Now let's see why. So see this part, this note that I wrote over here, it is for this stage because if I don't want to switch, so it doesn't matter whatever is happening after this step, right? If Monty opens any of the doors or not, we will not switch our door with any other door, right? So we'll stick with our um, choice. Now let's see what is the probability that I will win the car over here. So you have to, so this is a tree diagram, right? So you have to go either through this path to win the car or through this path to win the car or through this path, right? So these three paths are the paths that we will um, win the car. So I will just take these paths off so it won't be messy. Now, what were the probabilities over there? So if I go through A and A, I'm gonna end up with one over nine. Then if I go through B, B, I'm gonna end up with one over nine. So you remember for the probability of the branches of the tree, we have to multiply the probabilities that we have written on the branches, right? And then plus, 1 over 9 for when we are going through path C. So then we're going to get 3 over 9, and that is 1 over 3. You see, with the probability of 1 third, we will win the car if we don't switch. So let me highlight this part over here. If we don't switch, this is what happens. Now let's see what if we switch. So if we want to switch, it means that the game um continues on from here so let's go one by one through all these possibilities so when i choose the door a okay it means that i have chosen the car right so monty will open door b or c because both of them um, have the goat behind them right so with the probability of half Monty will open door B or C. Now, when the car is behind door A, so I'm still in the um, first um, part. So let me give these some numbers. I don't want you to um, confuse this with probability. So see, when I'm talking about this branch over here, I'm talking about one, two, and three. So these pink numbers are not the probabilities, okay? Since I want to refer to them, I want you to know which region I'm talking about. So in region one, I'm sure that the car is behind door A. I have chosen door B, right? And Monty knows which door has the car. So with the probability of one, he will open door C. So you see what happened? The same thing is happening for C. So when the car is behind door A and I have chosen door C, so there's only one door left with the goat behind that. So with the probability of one, Monty will open door B. 
and I will do the same procedure for regions two and three, okay? So in region two, we have the car behind door B. So if I choose door A, it means that I have chosen the goat. So with the probability of one, let me write these branches first. With the probability of one, Monty will open door C. Here, since I have chosen the car, he has a probability of, I mean, he can open door A or C with the probability of half because both of them contain the um, goat. And then for this one, we have B behind, uh, the car behind door B. And then um, I have chosen door C. So with the probability of one, he will open door A. Okay, now let's go to the third region. So the third region is exactly the same as the first two regions. So here we have probability of one, and then we have a probability of half. So then we're gonna have door B, door A, door A or B. Okay, now this is the stage, this was actually the stage that Monty opens the door. Okay, opens the door containing the goat. Now, after this stage, he will come and ask you if you want to switch. What did we say? We said that no matter what, we will switch. Okay, so we said that we will switch. So let's see how I can switch over here. When I have chosen, so I'm in region one and I am at the first branch on the left. So when I have chosen door A, okay, and Monty opens door B, since I want to switch, I'm going to switch to door C, right? And when I have chosen door uh, A and Monty opens door C, I'm going to switch to door B, okay? So I'm going to have this same probability for all of the other possibilities. So let me draw this first and I'm going to explain it. So see now, why do I have probability of one for all of them? Because already I already chose one of the doors and Monty opens the other door. So if I want to switch, I only have one choice right so let's see over here the car is behind door a i have chosen door b and monty opened door c so what is the choice that i have to switch i have to switch to door a so i'm gonna have a over here then the same thing is happening over here right now for the second region when the car is behind door B and I have chosen door A and Monty opens door C, so I'm going to switch between B and A. So I cannot switch to the door that is open, right? So I have to switch to the other door. So these two will be B and then we're going to have C, B over here. So it's the same procedure that I just explained. Okay, now let's see what is the probability that I have won the car. Look at the red points that I have at the last row. So the last row, the red points, the red letters means that I have um, won the car. Okay, so what is the probability over here? I'm going to have one third multiplied by one third multiplied by one multiplied by one. So that is one over nine. Here again, we're gonna have one over nine. Here, I'm gonna have one over nine. Again, one over nine. So all of them are one third multiplied by one third. Then one over nine and one over nine, right? So I have six different possibilities with the probability of one over nine, right? So if I switch, let me write this this way. So if we switch,
with a probability of 6 multiplied by 1 over 9, which will be 2 over 3, we will win the car. Now, out of curiosity, let's see what will be the probability that we will win the GOAT if we switch. So the first, the leftmost column, we have one third multiplied by one third multiplied by one half. So that would give me one over 18. And that is the same for all of the ones that have um, the GOAT behind them. 118 and 118. So with a probability of 6 multiplied by 118, that is going to be 1 over 3. We will win the GOAT. All right. Okay, so this is how we drew the tree diagram for the Monty Hall problem. If you are not asked to do so in the exam, you um, have the option to draw the tree diagram, or if you want, you can just demonstrate the probabilities to me the way that we did in class. But if you are asked to draw the tree diagram, this is how you can do that. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.